YouTube, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we're gonna be talking about coffee for hair growth. So I'm first gonna tell you about some of the benefits of coffee, and then I'm gonna show you a coffee-infused Ayurvedic hair mask, and then how to make a DIY coffee oil for hair growth. Okay, so now before I jump in, I'm sure you're like this, you using all of the foods, but I promise you guys, by the end of this, you'll understand where we're gonna be using um, coffee in our hair regimen and how to use it effectively. Okay, so really the benefits that we're looking for in coffee is based on actually the caffeine found in coffee. Now, according to some of the studies, caffeine actually helps to stop hair fall and encourage and stimulate hair growth. Just for reference, you guys, a lot of people, both men and women who experience hair fall, tend to find that they start to experience hair fall in their temples and in the crown or this frontal area of their hair. Now, this is actually called male pattern baldness hair loss that can affect, again, both men and women. And one of the reasons for that can come from an excess of DHT production, which slowly kills and shrinks the follicles, causing the hair loss over a period of time. Now, I mentioned this because in a 2007 hair loss study, caffeine was topically applied to men who had male pattern and baldness. Now what they noticed is that caffeine blocked the DHT production that, caused, that was causing the hair fall. Not only that, they noticed that caffeine helped to elongate the hair shaft, causing longer and stronger hair strands. Additionally, they found the caffeine also helped to extend the antigen phase of hair growth, and that is our hair growing phase. So these men came out having longer, stronger hair and no more hair loss. Now, based on the study, they, they claim women would experience similar results, but more studies need to be done on this. But based on that information and other studies that I'll leave on my blog post, I thought using coffee in your hair was a great, great idea. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways of how I've used coffee in my hair before. Now the first one is with a henna mask, but you guys can use this whenever you're using any other type of Ayurvedic hair mask. Now I'll show you how to brew the coffee um, very strong with the intent of getting all of the maximum benefits from it, and then show you how to make a DIY coffee oil to also help to encourage hair growth. Now you guys, too much of a good thing can be bad because some people will say, that um, coffee can also be a bit drying in their hair. So I recommend alternating this in your schedule, alternating this in your routine. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how to make the mask and the oil, okay? So we're gonna begin by brewing our coffee. Now you wanna use instant coffee for this. I happen to not grab the instant coffee. Begin by boiling about 10 to 12 ounces of water and add in two heaping tablespoons of your coffee. Go ahead and brew for five minutes or however long you like, and then strain it for use. Now, this will be the base of our Ayurvedic mix, so the longer you let it brew, the more benefits you will receive. I like to make sure mine gets nice and dark, just like this. So you want to decant your coffee into a glass jar. If you have instant coffee, you will have no granules remain. I am being kind of lazy here. You could filter it out if you prefer um, because these granules can be kind of thick in your um, henna mix. So I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of henna. I'm just kind of guesstimating and I'm gonna slowly stir in my coffee. Now you wanna keep stirring until the mixture is about of cake batter and nice and thick, and then set it off to the side for about two to three hours to let the dye release. All right, now we're gonna move right on and start to make our DIY coffee oil. Okay, so we're gonna use the double boiler method as I've mentioned before. So go ahead and get your pot boiling on the stove and then put your smaller bowl into the other one. And now I'm gonna add half a cup of coconut oil. Now I really love the way coconut oil and coffee smells together, a rich nutty smell. So if you enjoy this scent, definitely try it with coconut oil, but almond oil works as well. So does extra virgin olive oil. Next, go in with two heaping tablespoons of your coffee. Now this is where you can use your regular coffee mix, your coffee beans, or the ground coffee is actually really good when you're infusing in oil. So I'm gonna make sure the heat is down low. 
And then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of my oil that I made last week. It's castor oil and fenugreek seeds. Y'all, fenugreek has so many benefits and so combine that with the coffee. I think this makes a great addition to the coffee mix. So I'm gonna let this simmer on very, very low, never allowing the oil to burn for about two to three hours. Once my oil is done, y'all, you can see how rich and thick the oil looks. The coconut oil looks really, really infused. I'm gonna just quickly add a tablespoon of that right into my henna mix. I can tell the dye has already released, so this is a great way to add some other conditioning properties to this. I'm also going to go in with a tablespoon of glycerin and a tablespoon of honey. And then add about half a cup of Greek yogurt. Now I'll explain some of the benefits of Greek yogurt a little later, but y'all kind of want this to be a little bit more conditioning because the combination of the henna with the coffee can be a bit drying to your hair. All right, now that you have completed that mix, go ahead and strain the rest of your coffee oil by using a pantyhose to decant the oil into a mason jar for use later on. Now, if you want to add some additional scents and other benefits, I recommend using some cedar wood, about 20 drops, and of course some peppermint oil to help stimulate your scalp. All right, so now let's just go ahead and hop in the shower, shampoo our hair, y'all, and get ready to apply this mixture to our hair. Okay, so I've just finished shampooing my hair and now I'm gonna apply the mask. Um, since the dye release, it's been about four hours, you wanna wear gloves. The mixture smells like kind of chocolatey because of the coffee. It smells really good. All right, I'm gonna apply this and then I'm gonna tell you some more um, benefits of using coffee and some of the other ingredients in this henna mix. So y'all, I chose henna that has 10 other herbs in it because I want all the benefits of all the herbs. If y'all don't know, I am herb greedy. I want my hair to be flawless, growing all the way down my back. But seriously, y'all, henna has so many good benefits. Um, the loss and dye that's in the henna binds to your hair shaft, making it stronger and thicker. As someone with fine hair, this is really important to me to make sure my hair strands are thick and they don't break when combing or detangling. Henna also releases a beautiful reddish color to your hair, but if you're looking to add a brownish tint, the coffee, in addition to its hair growth benefits, also adds a nice chocolatey color to your hair. Now, if you guys have lighter color hair, just note that henna will stain your hair red. Um, if you have gray hair, henna will stain your hair color red as well. But by adding the coffee into this mixture, it will allow your grays to be a nice chocolatey color. So this is a nice alternative as well if you're looking to naturally dye your hair. Y'all look how easy this um, henna is applying to my hair. It's just like a really smooth mixture. You just squeeze it in. My hair is just loving it. I definitely needed this in my hair. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about why I added Greek yogurt to this mixture. Now, a lot of people think that Greek yogurt has protein and that's why you should use it, but the proteins found in Greek yogurt are very large and are not able to penetrate deep into your hair strand. They kind of like coat the hair strand. And so for this, I'm not using the Greek yogurt for its protein qualities. I'm using Greek yogurt because it contains enzymes that help fight dandruff and itchiness. It is also rich in lactic acid, which helps to cleanse the scalp. And this can also aid in hair growth and it naturally conditions dry hair. So this is a really nice alternative when you're using henna in your hair and you're looking for some conditioning properties.
Okay, y'all, so I plan to leave this mixture on about two to three hours. I'm definitely gonna use a plastic bag um, and use my towel, add some heat. I have a lot of things to do. And then I'll rinse it out and come back on for you guys. Okay, so I just finished rinsing out the coffee and henna mix. And y'all, I did use a deep conditioner to um, quickly co-wash to make sure I got all the product out. I will be um, deep conditioning soon, but my hair already feels light and fluffy just from rinsing with the deep conditioner I made. I'll link the deep conditioner up here that I made that I used to co-wash my hair out. It feels so good. Not to mention, I think my hair has a really nice um, brownish hue. Y'all will be able to see the brownish hue on Instagram in the next few days as the henna oxidizes with the coffee and it makes a beautiful, beautiful color. This is a great way for strength and for hair growth. And of course you guys, you can use your coffee oil. I think I'm gonna oil my scalp down and then put my deep conditioner in and then just rinse it out. Okay, you guys, so this is just one method out of many. As you guys know, I have plenty of oil recipes and mass recipes for hair growth, but keep trying to find which one works for you alternate them. I really do like to add coffee to my henna mix. Sometimes just to break it up, I really love the red that henna gives me, but sometimes I want brown. And as you guys know, I did a henna indigo video and sometimes I like black hair. So it just depends on my mood. So try it and see whatever works for you guys. So leave a comment down below if you ever use coffee in your hair regimen and let me know what kind of results you've seen. Were you consistent with it or not? And don't forget to share this video with anybody who's possibly suffering from um, male pattern baldness from too much DHT production. I have a video also on green tea. I'll link it down in the description box that helps to fight DHT or excess DHT. If you guys have any questions as well, please leave them down below. But that's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.